I'm going to show the difference between Capture One cataloging and Aperture's library. So if you look over here on the side, Aperture One, or I'm sorry, Aperture One and Capture One are both sharing the same library. And if I look to see where my libraries are, the library that they're both sharing right now is called this one, Aperture 3 Library Active. This library is being shared by Capture One. This is a managed library in Aperture. Managed in Aperture, all the photos are actually in this library right here. And Capture One is referencing all of exactly the same file structure from this library. So that's really nice because I don't actually have to duplicate my libraries. I can just um, use one library for both applications uh, until I decide which one I want to stick with. So let's take a look here. So we've got over on my library structure <clears throat> within Aperture, I've got um, the way I sort things is actually by year. This only goes back to 2011 um, because I split up my libraries. I've got a, a current library which is um, 2015 down to 2011. I have a 2006 to 2010 library and a 2000 to 2005 library only because I don't use uh, older photos all that much and they're, you know, these are very large libraries and so I split them into three very large libraries. So if you look at my file structure, I've got 2015, which is somewhat new still. So let's look at 2014, and let's look at see how I have things arranged right now, and then compare it to uh, Capture One. So 2014, uh, I got a slideshow right here. I've got 2014 miscellaneous pictures. There's 57 pictures that are miscellaneous. I really don't have a way to um, to sort those. Um, uh, CMP time lapse, birthdays. If I click click on birthdays. Um, here's how I set up my albums within my um, within my library. So this is a project called called uh, birthdays, <clears throat> and I have Avery's birthday, and then Cameron Sawyer Spencer, and this is the way that I do my date my dating as well. So if we go to say Ray's birthday, this is Ray's birthday. Um, there's nine photos in there, and I can see the structure. So let's look at exactly the same thing in Capture One. So we're going to go to 2014, and we're going to go to Birthdays, and we're going to go to Ray's Birthday. And there they are. So there's the first one. So if I flip back, again, nine photos, Birthdays, Ray's Birthday, flip over, same thing. File structure is maintained exactly the same in Aperture and in Capture One um, because they're both drawing from the same library.